stranded on this deserted island in the middle of the ocean. And we're gonna be stranded here for the next seven days. And that boat that just left was our only way out of here. Why do we keep doing this? I thought it'd be fun. Yeah, is, is this the video he sent on Twitter that is gonna be like his best so far or whatever? Survive on this island for over 250 years. But for the next seven days, we're gonna try to. And we only have around four hours until it gets dark. It's hot out here. We need to build a shelter immediately. I mean, why don't we just camp here? This spot looks pretty good. So, I say we kick things off by us going and looking for wood, and you two, we'll prep camp. Yes. Have fun with that. Come on, Sean. Come on, Chandler. How do we prep oh, that was the Amazon thing. And so we immediately got to work, but we had to be careful because above you is the most dangerous tree on no. earth. It contains poisonous tree sap Stop. that could literally kill you. Did you win? Why are we still standing here? And meanwhile, um, no. Nolan and Mac were making you, you a fire. Uh, I'm watching, I'm watching while I watch it comes back in. I'd say it's a pretty good fire, would you say? Hold on. Well, it's not a fire. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'd say it's a pretty good fireplace. And Sean started constructing the frame for our shelter. Are you sure that's not going to fall on us? Yep. I feel like Sean's like our survival dad. It's been called worse. And while gathering some more materials, we came across chat, some wild... Chat, I kind of wish that they, that they took like, like uh, survival shit and they, they legitimately did it, you know? I get it, chat. It's, it's more video that's like aimed at like a general audience, but I kind of wish they, they did like full-on actual survival, you know? Life on the island. Bro, look at these With no fallback in. Hey, wait, stop running away. And it wasn't long until I found out why the chickens were afraid of us. Hey, what are we doing over here? Ah. Uh, wait, what is that? Uh, oh, it's a knife. Were yeah. you going to try to kill one of those chickens? They would, that was a, they, they would have like a referee. Jimmy, that's like a pro survival one. And we'd tell them like, okay, don't eat that, you're going to die. We spent the rest whatever. of day one preparing our camp, which was pretty simple. I'm going to show you guys around the camp. This is the fire and where we're going to make food. Come over here. And this is where we sleep. That concludes the tour. We pulled over our survival crate, which contains food, water, and most importantly, a flare in case someone gets hurt. And by the time the sun went down, we had everything figured out, except one thing. Wait, hold up. Isn't sunscreen flammable? Oh, the Everglades stream is not going to be like day one, and I'm for survival like that different. I'm hoping to get some good sleep tonight, and I hope it doesn't rain. Tomorrow, we need to build a bigger shelter, and by we, I mean dad over there is going to build a bigger shelter. I got you. I got Oh. 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 Jimmy, you're like mom. Sean's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go to bed. I'll see you on day two. During the first night of sleep, we tossed and turned a lot. And by we, I mean me. So it was a good thing we were fixing this the next day. The objective for day two is simple. We need to build a bigger and rainproof shelter. We need more comfortable seats because my butt hurts. And we need a better fire pit. My butt also hurts. We're looking for very long, sturdy sticks we can put across the top of our shelter. That way, when it rains, instead of it drooping in the leaves and tarp, it flows off the back. And while we were busy gathering resources for our new shelter, Mac and Nolan were busy looking for new seats. Do you see that? Yeah. What's that orange thing? I mean, you can use it as like a bouncy seat. Dude, it's a buoy. Oh, dude, there's a net. We can use the net to catch chickens. No! Oh, a lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! Jimmy, we found an ocean buoy. It's like a bouncy seat. Did you steal this? No. I hate this dude. Did, did like, he steal it? Wash up on a beach. So what if he gets That's stung by something? Like, oh, or like a rare bug that, that, is, that is like on these islands or whatever. For the rest of the day, Chandler, Sean, and I finished upgrading the shelter. I like a rare bug. There's still sun in here, but it's because the sun's super low. 90% of the time, this will be shade now. While Mac and Nolan got coconuts. Alright, be careful. It's a big knife. <sighs> <laughs> and of course, Jack, can you just read it like that? Chickens. Hey, chickens, run! Run! Run away! What are you doing? All right, I saved them. Day two is coming to an end. How would you say it was? I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we can all agree we are doing way better than we thought we would. But little did I know, later that night, I mean, I things were about to get a whole lot worse. But for now... If you're wondering why we're in the ocean, look at Chandler. Because it's the only way for us to shower. We need our other water for cooking and, you know, not dying of dehydration. You want to know what I noticed, boys? What's that? We had ten cartons of water, and now we're down to six. It's dangerous. Chad, this is like irresponsible camping. Not, yeah, I agree with the this Chad. Everyone needs to be more responsible with their water consumption. I agree. Wait, what are we agreeing to? John, I agreed for you. Uh, okay, perfect. It's also dark. We need to go to bed. In case you didn't piece it together, that guy, Mac, is the guy that lost money in this video and this video. He's basically lost $1.5 million on the channel in the last two months. It's a harsh way to introduce somebody. Even though we upgraded our shelter, the second night of sleep was worse than the first. 
We didn't know it, but this island was infested with bugs that ended up biting us all throughout the night. And for whatever reason, Chandler and I got the worst of it. I got no sleep last night. Probably the most miserable thing I've ever done. Look how many bug bites I have on just my hand alone. I just got that. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's we cooked. Up on some much needed sleep. Dude, you I hate guess that. What the boys were gonna do without supervision. Catch chickens. No, let's catch fish. So yesterday, over by uh, that debris on the beach, me and Nolan found a bunch of net. Today, the boys are gonna help me make a chicken trap. The plan is basically to put a giant net right, right here, I'm surprised tied to a string up there, a what? and then <laughs> catch a chicken. Career. Let's go. You now, if I was awake to stop them, this never would have happened. But Maybe given the fact that I felt like I was literally dying in this moment, the boys were officially going rogue. Hey, strong net. There we go. Over the next 30 minutes or so, the boys cut the net into a perfect square. They then hoisted the rope up over the tree, tied the rope to all four yeah, even, if, even if they caught a chicken there. <laughs> that works. That's pretty nice. So after a quick reset and placing some bait, they know how to kill them and shit. Catch a chicken. What is this? A trap to catch chickens with? Can I see the rope? No, you cannot. Is that what you guys are doing this whole time? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were doing something actually productive. Right, I don't. I'll be honest. At first, this seemed like a complete waste of time because for the next three hours, they waited and waited. But for some reason, Mac in particular was not ready to give up. And finally, after even more waiting. Wait, oh, really? This chick is actually pretty chill. Yeah. This is the new Brian in honor of the bird from Raft. You know what? With how nice you've been, I'm sure once you put Brian down, it will continue to hang out with us. Put it down. Time to put Brian down. Brian, Brian. no, Brian! What did you do to Brian? I thought he was our friend. Well, I did catch him with a trap, so. And by the time Brian had been caught and freed, it had gotten significantly less. I am life, so confused. Which honestly gave all of us enough energy for a spontaneous adventure. See that island behind me? We're about to go do it, Mac. Let's do it. Now I know. Chai, you probably didn't want to get canceled for from a killing a island to chicken to eat it. In the middle of the ocean. And honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. This feels really counterintuitive. I think this is a testament to just how bored we are. Feels like we're wasting a lot of water and energy. Mac, what are you doing? There are so many fish down there. Really? Yeah. There's a stingray. Look at I mean, this fish. Those waves look really big over there. And they're coming right at us. Oh, did it, did it. Okay, it. I think what do is that you get a coach that knows about all this stuff. And he's like, he masters all of it, right? And like, he like teaches you and then you do it as best as you can, you know? I think, I think if you, somebody explains it to you on the fly, you could definitely kill a chicken without like hurting it and get canceled for it. There's no shot. Right. Look at the island over there in the background. And here we are. Woo! Look at this. We got water splashing on both sides. These are extra slippery rocks. Going up now? Oh gosh. Oh, this is crazy. This looks so cool. We did it! I don't know why we did it, but we did! How do we get off this? And then how do we get back to our island? Well, the fastest way off is jumping. I'm not jumping. During our last few hours of sunlight, guys, yeah, you kill it drops. without hurting it, like painfully. Us on the horizon. We got on the island. The forecast said it wasn't supposed to rain. There's monster clouds over there. We can depress. Let's go, oh, boys. Hell you guys. Guys. Fix the hut. Oh no. There's rain coming. Protect our stuff. Get as many palm leaves as you can right now. Taylor, more leaves. And once we ran out of daylight, we huddled up under our new and improved shelter and awaited a night of rain. The worst part about this is the unknown. It's so dark, you can't even see how close the rain is anymore. Turns out we got extremely lucky. The storm ended up just missing us by a hair. But what I can say is, later in this video, we won't be so lucky. Dude, it is literally pouring. Let me hold this up. I just want to go home. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let me try that again. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. You guys got a case of the Mondays? After four days on the island, our morning routine consisted of the following. First, we'd wake up and complain about how bad we slept. Sleeping last night was rough. And then we'd use the bathroom, sometimes together. I'm nervous peeing at the same time as you guys. And then eat, yet again, a bag meal. We're a little tired of our bag meals, so let's just say we've got a solution. 
this is as far as I go. Have fun. Oh, God. All this for some fish? You have to go very, very far out to Again, I'm trying to be a hater. I'm fish trying to. going to be in this light blue water. They're going to be in the dark blue water out there. Chat, but bag meals, bagged water, and then, like, tent equipment or whatever? Dude, that's, that's like... There's not much difference between this and like sleeping next to your house in a sleeping bag. So, this is a really good idea, a really bad one. Probably a bad one. The plan was a little dangerous, but simple. Mac is going to act as a human motorboat and drag Sean and Nolan out into the depths of the ocean. And Sean, being the expert survival dad that he is, is going to catch those fish and bring them back to shore for us to eat. You guys got the rope? I also brought around 500 feet of rope that they're tied to. So at any point, they they're going to kill help, fish. Just yank them in. Right, Chandler? Yeah. Is the rope still good? Yeah, you have plenty of rope. Mac, you doing okay? No. Uh, is Mac literally just pulling them? We should just untie the rope, Mac. Because that's some dead weight. Hope you don't regret it. Now we have no rope, and we're so far away from the beach. There's no way they're not getting seasick out there. Oh, look at that storm. Is that a storm? Boys, we better hurry. That's rain? That's rain. Something tells me this rope snapped somewhere. <laughs> no. Well, you know what we can do? We can start fishing. I wouldn't start fishing yet. He's in the water. Ah! Your rope came off! You see any fish down there? I don't see anything. None yet. We have the rope! Hey! Oh! You got something? Yeah, yeah. Oh! Hey! We got a fish! Hold on, hold on to it. Yeah! Oh! Oh, that's cool. And after two hours of fishing and 200 fishes worth of calories burned, all they had to show for it was one fish. Is this fine to eat? Yeah, of course. It literally tastes like fish from a supermarket. I mean, you know where fish from the supermarket come from, right? Where? The ocean. And even though this fish from the ocean was surprisingly good, Dude, that, it was time to eat something a better. Roll. S'mores. 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 First off, you need to burn the bacteria off your stick. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. You seem like you've done s'mores they're, before, Joe. Bro, they skipped every singular part of, like, the, like the, the hook, unhooking, fucking getting it out, the way, like, prep or whatever. Cooking everything in just to like it seem to take a bite out of like we can't even see what it is What are you doing? It could have been like oh, oh, oatmeal Take the feastable chocolate scrunch it like that while it's still hot Look at that make sure to try out our new feastables bar people are actually liking it so much It's sold out in most stores. Don't worry. We're doing our best to restock it as fast as we can You've never had a s'more in your life until you've had a s'more with feastables on it Like clockwork we lay no, down to go to bed bro. and it starts raining Why is it that whenever we do survival videos you can have like one like when we're five to friends of cooking it like day four. Shh. yeah i agree you caught a chicken and then cut and fish. boom done the like three more two seconds of stupidity yeah. i just Whatever. woke up i have no idea what day it is stay up five i was about to say that <laughs> One of the reasons why we picked this island is there's very old houses or ruins, whatever you want to call it, on this island. And even though they're located on top of a mountain, I say today's the day we explore them. I agree. Disagree. Now that we had all agreed to go to the ruins, we wanted to make sure we didn't start this expedition on an empty stomach. And just as we were eating our bag breakfast, Nolan noticed something more appetizing down the beach. Over there on the shoreline. What is it? There's a goat. No way, bro. There's a goat. Mac. You cannot eat that. You can't stop me. No. Uh -oh. Wait. Run away, goat! Jimmy, run away! Go! Get Chat, out of goats here. can make it to these Chat. islands? Why did you do that? He's our friend. No, he's not. He's food. Oh, once again, Jimmy has scared away my food. And after sparing another animal from Mac, it was time to adventure to the ruins. All right. Let's do it. We're almost out of water, guys. I they spawn I there. For the adventure. I'm gonna try to fill these up with coconut water while you're gone. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I'll be there in one second. And what they don't know is I actually have a surprise waiting for us at the top of the ruins. It'll make sense in a little bit. That was kind of weird. I just stayed back and talked to the camera. Yeah, it's kind of like how you lost $1.5 million. Oh, yeah. Follow Got me, him. gang. Jimmy, I believe in you. For a second, I thought this was the mountain. I forgot we haven't even reached the base of the mountain yet. And while we climb this mountain, I'm going to tell the boys about Western Union. Wherever you are, Western Union makes it easy to send money to Western friends. Western Union in the current year? We'll be up here. Yeah, you keep talking about that, Jim. Hey, what the fuck? Western Union also has a free website and app that's simple and secure. So I haven't grandma, heard that word in fucking your grandma, Mac. 12 years. And before I got here, I used Western Union to pay the boat. 
Dude, you gotta be careful. Here, give me a second, Western Union. I also use Western Union to pay the boat guy that dropped me off on this island. Because they have been around for 100 years, I know my money got to them, even though I was in the U.S. Look how far away we've come from our beach. Is that, is that a rainbow? Rainbow right there. Oh, yeah. What the heck? That's awesome. I'm not gonna be like a Debbie Downer, but that's rain right there. That giant cloud? That giant cloud with rain. Yeah, you're being out. a Debbie Downer. Hey, you can see Sean from here. Dude, he's building the shelter. Sean's making us dinner. Sean! Sean's gonna have a carry him. I can see him! Yeah! You heard him? Keep going! Wave if you're a nerd! <laughs> oh. oh, he's waving. Is it gonna be dark when we go back on this path? Yeah. How are we gonna see? Oh, we'll figure that out later. That's gonna be unfortunate if somebody falls. Oh! Oh! Are you good? You good? I'm alive. <laughs> see that right over there? Boys, come on. Come over here. Uh, I'm trying to, to get the, the toenail out of them. This is actually sick. Dude. Why is there just a yellow box? Yeah, what is this thing? I'm glad you asked. I paid some guys with Western Union $10,000 to move this box up here. Really? Nolan, there's a crowbar in your backpack. <laughs> what do you think is in here? Pizza? Water. You knew that we were going to run out of water, so you put extra water in this box. And while we're opening this, there's never been a better time to download or sign up for Western Union. Your first transaction is free. Just go to westernunion.com slash MrBeast. Now, I know I could have filled this crate with extra water and food, but instead, I brought something even better. Matt, does this moment remind you of something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this picture of you losing 800 grand? Now, here's a picture of you losing 700 grand. Bro, why? Why go You'll see it there? one second, don't worry. Now, I didn't do this to make fun of Mac for losing $1.5 million. Really? Because that's exactly what it feels like you're doing. I did this to say, and we're going to give you another chance in one final video. No shot. But this is your final shot. You're going to give me a third shot? Your final shot. I got another shot! If you look at the last video we did, every single comment was, bring back Mac, bring back Mac. I hope you win. That's another shot. More important than your shot. There's <laughs> oh, some ruins no. over here. Let's go look at them. Third shot, baby. I'm not going to let you guys down again. This building is almost a century old. Imagine building this 100 years ago just for a bunch of YouTubers to explore it. <laughs> Whoa, this is wicked. Why is there a cactus up there? Does the cactus just crawl up there or does someone... I think I will never fucking win it. The cactus does not crawl. They're going to milk him over and over again. Legs. Oh, my God. Let's check out on the other side of the crate. There's some more ruins over there. This is crazy, dude. Look how the trees, like, wrap around the Whoa. freaking rocks. Would the gang say this was worth the effort? Because I got a third chance, yes, I would. All right, well, he's biased. Would you two say it was worth it? No. There was no pizza in the box, so no. <laughs> By this time, day five sun was setting on the island. And on our way back to camp, we stopped at the peak of the mountain to take it all in. There's no one I'd rather scale the side of a random mountain with than you guys. Thank oh. you. Fudge, you're right. Hold on. Oh my god, I made it in the game. <gasps> guys, guys, what's the AFK timer shot on Daisy? Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's fair. But outside of that, nobody. Boys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna remember this forever. Me too. I think this view made the journey. I hope you visited them. Cleaned up. It's been reinforced from the rain. Coconut water. Meals ready to go. Got a lot more water. It's getting really dark. I mean, you can't even see into the woods right now. I don't know how they're gonna make it back from the top of that mountain to all these woods in the dark. This is way sketchier at night. Yum. Ow. Cactus. Ow. You good? Just a thorn on my side. But little did we know, running into a cactus in the middle of the night was actually the least of our worries. We ended up hitting a dead end, which is a little intimidating in the middle of a forest. Hey, which direction is it? Is it this way or that way? Wait, I can see three different things, dude. There's this right here, and then there's this one right here. This is a path, too. Like, are you I sure, bro? This... Where is that? It's definitely not to follow me. Guys, I will pick a random direction. Wait, I'm no, swallowing no, it. Yeah, the must... Oh, it is. No, it's right, right over here. Oh, it's raining. Hold on. And we must have been extra lucky that night because on top of being lost, it started raining. Are you sure this is the right one? Andy, it's this way. Which way are we going? I told you we should plow. Wait, Chandler. Follow me. Chandler, how sure are you? I'm 10% sure it's this so way. So wouldn't 90% be better? Are you 90%? Can we choose? It's pouring on the side of a mountain. Go. It's raining. Okay, Wait, we're why going don't we way. choose? Yeah, this Chandler guy looks kind of drained. It is getting slick. I'm doing videos. Yeah, I really don't think we came up with something to steal. Oh, I almost face planted. And if we couldn't be any more unlucky, on top of it raining while we're lost, we've even got a third thing to worry about. Above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. If it rains, it will seep 
poison that will burn your skin. Watch out for the death apple sap because it just rained. What are we supposed to do? Not let the poison drip on you. Oh, oh that is 10,000% no. of death apple tree, boys. That means we're close. And regardless of if we took the right path or not, we could tell we were getting close to camp. That's sand. That's oh. some sand. Thank God. We made it. <laughs> camp is right there. We have a rare opportunity to scare Sean. Are we going to take advantage of that? Yes, of course. Okay. Let me tired from video yet. Being in a jungle. Oh my god, you scared me. We made it! Yeah, we're back. I made you guys dinner in coconut water. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Wow, tastes like a coconut. <laughs> After the hike, we ate, we showered, and when we dried off, we took a second to look up at the stars. That's because cute. when you're in the middle of the ocean, it really feels like you're on another planet. They're gonna hit half what they're doing? Next I mean, what are they doing here? Around the corner, not doing much something though. we've been fearing this entire challenge. You feel that? Guys, bad news. There's a ton of water on the top of our shelter. I just don't know if that's going to be safe for us to be under it. Despite our efforts from earlier to make the shelter better, water was beginning to pull up on our roof from the storm. All this water on top of us. Is there a world that could bring our structure down? And even though all we wanted at this point was a night of sleep, we had to get up and deal with it. Uh, oh my god. We are absolutely screwed. I'm just getting destroyed and pummeled by rain all night. And after two hours of rain, a damaged shelter, and soaking wet beds, there was no chance any of us were going to sleep that night. It raining on you at night. The worst experience you can have on these shelters. I'm so tired. Hopefully it just passes over. And even yeah, though this was going to find him. Low, our only option was to wait this thing out. But like this, probably not. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. The rain last night was pretty brutal. I don't know if I've ever been that cold. Uh... Ever. What do you want to do today? Do it, do it, do it. Okay. Awesome. Absolutely nothing. I just can't wait to get out of here. This place sucks a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick and I'm, I'm tired and I want to go home. At this check, I feel, I feel like they're like they're not staying alive. They're just looking for content, right? But the survival part is content if it's like if you could, if you do it right, right? But I think it's just hard. So doing this looks kind of boring because like you're just looking for stuff. To, I don't know, it seems like trying to make something out of nothing. This is really. quickly turning into a little bit of a nightmare. And after six days of physical struggle, our mental health was beginning to suffer as well. There's only so much bagged food you can drink and hours you, know? you can lay in the sun. Sorry. Before you start to just feel terrible. And I'm starting to feel terrible. I have a headache. I am very tired. It was clear that we were going to have to take drastic measures if we were going to complete this challenge. Looking for a peach cobbler. Wanna look for a peach cobbler? Oh, I found one. So, in an effort to turn things around, What's we treated ourselves cobbler? to canned cobbler for breakfast. Yo, what is that? Yo! What is that? And with the help of this unorthodox breakfast, Can that happen? we were beginning to return back to normal. Go oh, yeah. ahead! <laughs> Straight into the tree. And it became clear how exactly we were going to survive day six yeah. by having fun with each other. <laughs> awesome. And I began to realize, oh. <laughs> even though we've all done a lot of suffering, why'd we pick the heaviest seat in existence? This whole trip has been filled with a lot of fun, cheers, boys, and adventure. We did it! <laughs> Moments like these are hard to find. And when I look back on this challenge, we probably Chat. won't remember Fuck the bad times. Yes. I think if I criticize anything, I'm, I guess it's like, it's like everybody's like always trying to be negative. I actually care about these videos. I think like the script for those or like the, the narration and storyline is always the same. It's almost like whatever happens, right? At the end, it's like some inspirational music thing, right? And I, I get it. He's trying to do more storylines, whatever, or like kind of build up stuff. But at the same time, it's always the same. Then it doesn't really, it, it doesn't lose its value, you know? The good. It's kind of cool. And with day six of our challenge finally coming to an end, I just, I just want like less for me, you know. Night with a massive I'm not like the target audience for this for sure. But it's kind of burning us all. Yeah, I'm getting that. It's a little too big. When we wake up tomorrow, the challenge will be over. And as the sun rose on day seven, oh, get me out of here. We broke down camp and cleaned up with one thing in mind: leaving this place and never coming back. And before we leave, I just want to take the time to say thank you all for watching. All of you are the only reason videos like this exist, and I really hope you all enjoyed it. All right. Interesting.